Hello everybody and welcome back to another Ashes of Creation video. In this video, we're going to take a deeper dive into the node advancement system and how it'll play a key role in the game. Nodes are an essential part of the world of Vera. It's where players will be looking to train, fight wars and rest their heads. And the advancement of nodes is a key aspect in expanding the world. Within the game, nodes will advance based on citizen and non-citizen player activity when inside a node's zone of influence. This will eventually increase the node to a higher stage. There are currently seven node stages that are planned. These stages are as follows. The Wilderness, Expedition, Encampment, Village, Town, City and Metropolis. The Wilderness is stage zero and it's pretty much what it says on the tin. It's wild and untamed. This is the zero stage and is completely undeveloped. Expedition is the first official stage of a node. This will advance after a few hours of player activity within its zone of influence. You'll begin to see some NPCs within the node, which also includes some merchants. It is said that the development of the area is very simple and would only have some tents and a few campfires. Encampment is the second stage of the node advancement. This stage will take many hours of player activity within the zone of influence. You'll see an increase of NPC activity and the NPC count will increase as well. There are more semi-permanent structures in place during the encampment phase and the area can feel a little bit more lived in. After a few days of player activity, the encampment will evolve into a village, the third stage of nodes. It will be at this stage that players can own property in the village. Buildings become permanent and the local government begins to form based on the node type. For more information on player housing, government and nodes in general, make sure you check out my last video. You can find the link to this in the description below. A village will eventually evolve into a town after many days of player activity, which is the fourth stage of the node advancement. You'll begin to see more structures and a more established government. This will also unlock societies and organisations with ranking structures for players to participate in. The fifth stage of node advancement is a city. This will take a few weeks of player activity to advance to. A city will feel alive with various NPCs doing their daily routine, bustling development and large scale housing for players. And it will be a major player hub for the server. It is here at this stage that you will be able to see guild halls and grand temples, depending on the node type. You will also see embassies from other nodes depending on whether diplomacy prevails. Lastly, the sixth stage is the Metropolis, which is stated to take many weeks of player interaction within the zone of influence. This stage is a culmination of the node system. A Metropolis requires a large amount of resources to develop and to be maintained. Within any given server, there can be no more than five at a time. There will also be the opportunity to create one of the unique buildings depending on the node type. Again, you can find out what these unique buildings are in my previous video. Within the world, there are situations where a node can become a vassal node, depending on if it's adjacent to a more developed node, starting from a village. For example, a village can become a vassal to a town adjacent to it, and the development on those nodes can be blocked because of this. This is all determined by the zone of influence. This also causes the opportunities for vassals to have vassals as well, again, depending on the zone of influence. A vassal node will give excess experience to their parent node. Due to the fact that vassals cannot evolve past its parent's node type, any experience earned by that vassal node will be given to its parent once it can no longer progress. And that will continue up the ladder. For example, if there are three nodes, an encampment, a village and a city, there will be two vassals and two parents. The excess experience from the encampment will go to the village and then the excess experience from the village will go to the city, thus developing the world of Vera. During this time, any citizen of a vassal will be bound to the diplomatic state of the parent node. Nor will either a vassal or a parent be able to declare war on one another. The development of a zone will depend on player activities within the zone of influence of that node. If players partake in activities such as dungeons, raids, world bosses, general quests or events, within the zone of that node, that node will gain more experience. 
All of these activities will be determined by the world manager, which is an algorithm that controls the dynamic world elements. This will also have an influence on the prices that NPCs sell particular items for and scale based on the economic activity of the server. Thank you all for watching this video on Ashes of Creation. If you liked it, then please drop a like on it. If you're excited about the game or want to have more of a discussion about the node advancement system, then by all means, please comment down below. And if you're not a subscriber yet, then please subscribe because we will be making some more content on Ashes of Creation in the future. But for now, guys, thank you so much and I will see you later.